Welcome to the support videos for workload automation. In this video, we will be showing you how to use a priority calendar in Control M Enterprise Manager. Specifically, we will be using a quarterly priority calendar, and we will be showing you how to schedule jobs using that quarterly periodic calendar. First, let's take a look at what our quarterly calendar looks like. So we open the calendars option and double click on quarterly and it'll bring up our quarterly calendar. As you can see, this quarterly calendar has four periods, one for each quarter. Period A is January to March. Period B is April to June. Period C is July to September. And period D is October to December. And it repeats every year the same, peer, the same periods. Now let me show you how to use this quarterly calendar for scheduling our jobs. Let's close this calendar. And let's go to our workspace. Our first job, we want to schedule it for the third day of the third quarter. So let's go to scheduling. Um, instead of every day, we are going to use schedule based on calendar. And yeah, we're going to use relative calendar days from start, end of month period. This will allow us to select our quarterly calendar. And we're going to be ordering on quarter, on calendar days. And on this case, we want to schedule for the third day of the third quarter. Our third quarter is period C. And the third day is that. And to... Uh, verify, we'll use forecast and click on view schedule. And as you can see, the job is scheduled for the third day of July, which is our third period. If we click on 2018, it will be scheduled on the third day of July again for our third period. Let me show you another example. In this case, um, we want to schedule our job for the last day of the first and the fourth quarter. So let's go to scheduling. And we're going to be using um, based on calendar schedule. Again, instead of calendar days, we'll use relative calendar days from start and then the month period, which would allow us to select our quarterly calendar. We're going to be ordering on calendar days. And we want to order this job for the last day of the first and fourth quarter. So first is period A. Um, and the last day would be over here. And then we want period D. And the last day would be over here. Um, and again, let's use forecast by clicking on view schedule to check our schedule. And as you can see, the job will run on the last day of the fourth quarter, December 31st, and again on the first day, uh, the last day of the first quarter. If we look at 2018, it will show you that it runs on the last day of March and the last day of December, which are our first and fourth quarters. Let me show you one last example. So let's close this. Click on OK here. And our third job, we want to schedule it for the fifth day of every quarter. So again, let's click on scheduling. And again, it's on schedule. We're going to be using, based on calendar schedule, we're going to be using the relative calendar days so we can use our or our select our quarterly calendar. We're going to be ordering only on calendar days. And for this example, we want to run this job on the fifth day of every quarter. So we will choose asterisk, meaning all quarters are selected. And we'll just click on five to run this on the fifth day of every quarter. And let's use forecast to check our work. And as you can see, this would run on July the 5th, October the 5th. January 5th, 2018, and April 5th, 2018, which is the 5th of every 
quarterly period. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Thank you for watching. Please check our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.